All right, today we're going to removing a carburetor off of a 1995 Bayou 300 four-wheeler. Doesn't matter, matter two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, it's both gonna be the same. We've got the plastics off now in the fuel tank. You don't have to do those to remove the carburetor. We've got the plastics off for another reason, um, but I just thought I would show you how to remove the carburetor from this point. Now the plastics are gonna kinda come down here, come down here. Um, they are going to be, make it a little more difficult, but still able to get it off without um, removing the plastics. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, there's a clamp here and a clamp here. They're Phillips screwdrivers. You wanna wanna make sure that you use uh, uh, the correct Phillips size here so that you're not uh, stripping those screws out. Just go ahead and loosen those. Once you get them to a certain point, they're gonna wanna try to move on you like that. What I do then is just take a finger there, kind of hold that clamp. You wanna loosen them up farther than what uh, what you would think. You wanna be able to slide that around freely. The, the deal is if you don't remove those clamps far enough, when you're pulling that carburetor out, it expands that boot and will not allow that, um, that carburetor to pull all the way out. Next clamp uh, on the back here, it's directly right behind the carburetor. Sometimes they put it in a very difficult spot. Sometimes you have to have a longer screwdriver holding it out here. Once you get it loosened up a little bit, a lot of times you can take your finger in there and pry on it and pull it down and then are able to get to it a little bit easier. Again, you want to remove, remove that one far enough to where you can uh, remove the, uh, the carburetor without it catching on the boot. Next thing, take a 10 millimeter wrench and you've got your throttle cable coming in here. It goes up right along your frail line, frame line and runs up to your throttle. You want to make sure that you take a 10 millimeter wrench, hook it on there and loosen it up. Turn it towards the front of the four-wheeler. Again, once you get that loosened up enough, you can a lot of times do it by hand. Sometimes you gotta do it farther, um, and you can loosen up about, about a quarter of an inch if you can. Sometimes that's all there is to it. And then um, this bottom one here, what, what you can do, you can actually remove that cable um, at this point, or you can wait and try to get it off. Um, once you get this cable completely off this holder here, now you kind of turn it and push it down as far as you can. You're going to want to try to loosen that cable up a little bit more. So if you turn it in there, that'll allow it to push past this holder and you can unscrew it even more. Now once you get it opened up the same distance as, as the bottom of this is here to the top of that, you can just slide it straight out from there. Makes it really easy then when it comes time to remove that cable. You just push that butterfly up like that. Take your finger and kind of wrap it around there and, and pull it out. And I know you can't see it very well with my hand there, but you want to get that cable to this groove that's right there. Now the next thing you want to do, or you could potentially do this first, blow this all out. Make sure there's no debris that's going to fall inside this boot. This one obviously we're going to clean this carburetor really well going back together so it's not as crucial. But this one here, you do not want any motor, any uh, dirt falling into this uh, boot here going into that motor. So now we can take and pull that off on this side. Now before we do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna slide it back on there slightly, take you around to the other side and show you how to do that one there. You can see these boots just kind of come off fairly easily once those clamps are all done. Now we're gonna go to the other side. And again, I said we already have our throttle line or our uh, fuel line off here. It goes from our fuel tank that's up here runs down into there. Shut the fuel petcock off, that's gonna be about right here. Take that line, you can pull it off from here or the fuel tank side, whatever is easier. I like to pull it off from the carburetor side because um, I'm gonna pull it off anyways when we're cleaning that carburetor. Here's a vent here that we remove, and that one can just pull out the top. And then we've got your choke cable here, and that is a 12 millimeter plastic cap. So you wanna be really careful pull when it comes time to pull this one off that you get your wrench on there as good as you can, loosen it up. Once you get a, a turn, about a, a half a turn, a lot of times you can grab the, the actual plastic cap on this and turn it. And I'll pull that off of there so I can show you what it looks like there. Our carburetor is really loose. There is a plunger and there is the cap. So that's what it's gonna look like. These threads are plastic, so you wanna be really careful going back together with it. And then again, this vent line here, we can just remove it. And I think that is all for the vent lines beside this bottom one uh, coming out this bottom nipple of your carburetor. And that's your fuel drain line. That one runs to the bottom of the motor. And so that's a, that's a smaller drain line. You can just pull that off. Or when you take the carburetor out, it'll come out with it. So that is 
removing the carburetor on a Bayou 300.